57 degrees mm. outside right now. If it was any colder, we could be skiing down West Burnside because that <laughs> snow right. would have stuck. Or ice skating, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, it would have stuck. It would have been nice. It was so pretty to see the snow come down in other areas, but it was kind of nice that it didn't stick too because it did help with the commute for some of us. Others of us got a lot of snow. This is back towards Sandy and Malala, uh, several inches there. And I love this picture that Jennifer sent in of the big giant snowman. So good use of that snow there, uh, little guy. 36 degrees right now, so temperatures are still dropping. Feels like 32, and you can keep that in mind. It's going to continue to feel like it's at freezing, if not below, as we head through or early tomorrow morning. Uh, out there right now, the radar showing the showers are starting to wind down a little bit, but there's still a few little showers uh, popping up in the valley just south of Salem, down towards Millersburg and Corvallis. Most of that's coming down as very, very cold rain, but occasionally is moving into some more rural areas where temperatures are slightly lower, and so we are seeing a few flakes fly. How about in Portland? And how did we do officially uh, in Portland PDX for the snow? And we did officially get a trace of snow. So it doesn't mean we got nothing, but we got a trace today. Of course, we did a lot better than that once you got up into the hills. Uh, here's a look at how things played out. We topped, we started off at 35. And then we topped out at 39. So it was a day spent in the 30s, and we only had about a four degree uh, change in the weather there. And then, of course, uh, we picked up a quarter of an inch of rain. And then so far this month, we've had over an inch of rain. Uh, so we had a rain mixing in with some snow from occasion uh, today. Out there right now, 37 in Vancouver, 38 in Salem, 37 in Corvallis. Coastal areas in the mid 30s between Cannon Beach and Astoria. Central Oregon in the 20s there. Hood River still at 34. Overnight tonight, we'll watch the rain and snow really taper off. There's a slight chance we may see a little bit more light snow try to push through the valley. Uh, but for the most part, everything's winding down. Your Tuesday in the morning, we'll have to watch out very early for freezing fog in some of the areas that start off at freezing. Uh, by 7, between 7 and 9, temperatures are coming up a little bit, so that should help things out. And then for the afternoon, we'll try to get some sunshine going. So highs in the upper 30s, you will notice a bit of of a breeze kicking in tomorrow afternoon, which will make it feel a bit colder, but uh, nice dry weather for all of Tuesday and all of Wednesday, too. The next system moving in gets here Wednesday night. That system's going to be tapping into a lot more moisture than this last one did. And of course, we're going to have that cold air in place. It's going to be even colder than what we saw this morning uh, to help get those snow chances going a little better. So we're going to be keeping a very close eye on how Wednesday night and Thursday morning plays out. So this is your Wednesday. Wednesday looks dry all day. It'll be cloudy, but uh, we won't see any showers. Winds will be kicking in big time from the gorge through the metro area. You can count on some very high easterly winds. In fact, 60, 70 mile an hour winds, especially as you head back towards the gorge. And then and watch what happens uh, Wednesday night by midnight. Here comes that moisture. And where it may be a rain snow mix down towards Salem, thanks to the gorge influence, there's that possibility it will come down all as snow uh, for several hours, perhaps Wednesday night to early Thursday, before switching over to sleet and then freezing rain. By afternoon, we should switch, see a switch over to all rain. Uh, but when exactly that switch over happens, we don't know yet. And how much snow we get before it switches over to freezing rain still yet to be determined, but we're going to have to watch this very closely because it could mean a very messy commute, especially through the gorge, if not parts of Portland, too. So we'll be watching that again closely over the coming days. Mount Hood Meadows again saw more snow up that way, and you just saw uh, that Ski Bowl is opening up, too. So the snow continues to pile up at the resorts, and we're going to get a lot more of that as we head through the week. Your forecast tomorrow, upper 30s, and we'll see some sunshine for the afternoon, 20s and bend and burns. Seven-day forecast, Tuesday, a cold dip. Cold day, excuse me, Wednesday, a windy cold day, Wednesday night, watching for snow to switch over to ice. And then you have that icy start Thursday morning. And then finally, we thaw out a little bit. We're back to 40 with overnight lows in the mid to upper 30s. And then it is milder going into the weekend. So that next system coming up could certainly pose a lot more problems than what we saw this morning. Yeah, when you had that wind and the ice yeah. in there, that's what Yeah, the gorge is looking like it's especially going to be nasty, but we're going to have to watch out for the Portland Metro, too, okay. because that easterly wind keeps that cold air stuck right here, too. We're so. going to be wishing for that 40 degrees here in a couple <laughs> days. Yeah, bring it on. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> well, still ahead, a Christmas gift shop 